What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. The weather's finally starting to warm back up. I think we're supposed to be in the hundred today. But with this hot weather, these fish should be up, hiding right beneath these grass. We're gonna be punching, throwing a frog, throwing a jig, uh, trying to figure out what they want. But if we don't do good here, we got the aqueduct that's not too far away. Like we might head that way and uh, go for some stripers or something towards the evening. All right, guys. Start off with the half ounce PB and J finesse jig, the ballsy bait trailer, the Zeiss crawl. It's a little deep spot right here. I think this is where the water gets pumped to the other side. Oh my gosh, something just took it. Wasn't even prepared. Still talking to you guys. the heck yeah with it being so hot I don't know if they're out there or they're gonna be tucked in this grass last time I was out here they were on the edge it wasn't this hot though a lot windier too Bet you guys never seen this frog. Look at that. I think this would be a great open water frog too. Let's try it out. Oh my god, dude, right when I pitched it, <laughs> it blew up. <laughs> Very first cast, that little bass came out of the grass. I'm just barely crawling it over these duckweed. Trying to fish like every inch of it. You just never know. That's the thing with frog fishing, especially when you're fishing these thick stuff. If you miss that target by a foot or two, yeah, those fish won't move much to grab it. You gotta be basically over their head for them to come up and grab it. Got a lot of dragonflies. Most of them are kind of like a smoke color or bluish color. Earlier I seen a bright one, a bright orange, kind of reddish. Might be good to uh, find like a blue, blue frog or an orange frog. Kind of mimic these dragonflies. Here's a little tip too, you can kind of tell if somebody's gone through with the frog, you see all these lines, what you want to do is try not to hit the same line that whoever has been there before you has hit. That way, you know, you'll have a good chance at catching a fish too. They're not really in the slime, they're more in just like the duckweed. Oh my gosh, like I was saying, they're not in the slime, they're more in the duckweed. And as soon as I swam it right past that slime, little goop, I got a blow up. All right, let's keep moving. You guys already know what this lure is. Mega Bass Sleeper Gill. First time throwing it. Let's see how this thing performs. It's 
see what all the hype is about. I really want to test up, test the hookup ratio. Birdie second cast with it. Little bass. <laughs> there you go. Pretty good hookup ratio, I guess. Yeah, bass. Let's see if there's another one over there. Something right here by this whole bridge. I think we're better off heading to the aqueduct now. There's way more bass action over there, and you can have a chance at running into a striper. Oh, freaking broke my line. Dang it, I should have retied. Had a nick in my line. tip up that's how much noise it's making right there that's all I got to do it's sitting on top of the mat and those little two blades are just clinking next to each other Finally a nice one. Holy cow. I forget the exact name, but you can only get them in Japan. Man. <laughs> Whew. 
Got my heart pounding there. Jesus. That's all I was doing is going. <laughs> Wow, saw that thing come way underneath there and grabbed it. Not a big one, but still fun. Probably one of the funnest way to catch fish. Yeah, that's a nice colors. About the fish? About the bucky. Oh, shoot. Mm. Alright, you guys, we just got to the aqueduct. Can you use this later? We can get on some striper or a marshmallow bass action. Little bird chilling right here. Little baby bird. Must have fell out of the nest. Say hi. Come on, man. One striper. All right, you can never go wrong with the A rig out here. Keep moving. I had a, like a three pounder follow right there. <laughs> He's right there. He came up and looked at it. It's still right there. Try a big piece of worm right now. Nightcrawler. Pull it up. 
Go, 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 go. <laughs> Ding. Nice one. I just dropped it down there. Wait, it was like it was like a sand area. And then the boom, it popped up right there. <laughs> Damn. Nice one. Let's go. I don't know why, but every time I come out this direction, I always seem to struggle. It's not fishing like how it used to be. Man, it didn't even matter what time of day you came out here, you can catch at least one or two striper. Oh. Try again next time.